those of you that know Ryan and Caitlin well, well then you know that this is truly the perfect place and really the only place they would want to be married. Park City is special for them and they want to share their love of the mountains with all of us. This is where they met and fell in love, where they skied these runs and these trees. Ryan says it so eloquently. Park City is where Caitlin and I built the life for ourselves. Being here today is a way of honoring what we've accomplished so far and what I hope we'll accomplish in the future. For Caitlin, it's simply, no matter where we live, Park City will always be home. Well, you can imagine how I felt, how touched and honored I was. I've done weddings before, but never for anyone as special to me. Caitlin and Ryan, it is my privilege to stand here for you. I can proudly say this is a special couple, very tuned in to their love for each other and how fortunate they are. Although it's been a number of years now since they met and have been together, from early on it seemed obvious that they were perfectly suited and belonged together. It's no surprise that we're standing here with them today. When you listen to them talk about each other, their tight connection is obvious. Individually, they are both gifted and yet clearly influence and benefit from each other. What a great looking crowd we have on an amazing day. So on behalf of Ryan and Caitlin and their families, I want to welcome everyone and express how much they appreciate you coming from all over the country to help them celebrate on this momentous occasion. Caitlin and Ryan have chosen you, those special to them, to help them witness and celebrate the beginning of their new life together. Under the sun. who have gotten to experience you today as a couple believe that you are destined for a long life of love and happiness. We share your excitement about the future as you grow together and share life's journey. As you are entering marriage, you are also passing through a portal that will take you many places, including those you can't imagine. I know that the depth of your love and devotion to each other will help you together get through the many challenges that will come your way. By now, you've probably heard some great advice about what makes a good marriage. You know, don't go to bed angry and, and things like that. You've also probably heard that marriage is hard work, but it doesn't have to be. If you always think of your spouse before yourself, then marriage is not hard. If you believe your marriage is more important than your career, then marriage is not hard. And if you recognize that the little things that come up every day, because there are so many of them, are actually the big things, then marriage is not hard. Never forget what brought you together, why you fell in love, and in the words sung by Elvis, true love travels on a gravel road.
by the power vested in me by the state of Utah, but most of all, by virtue of your love for each other, I pronounce you man and wife. Of me, island man. Min wadi mi yidem ko antan holi mi. Holi mi ko njidi mi oduna oduna. Hmm, wadi mi yidem. But how cold I live to love and adore you. It's all that I am. It's all that I have in the cold light I live. I only live for you. It's all that I have. It's all that I have. So open up my eyes to a new light. I wandered round your darkened land all night, but I lift up my eyes to a new high. And indeed, there would be time. But in the cold light, I live to love and adore you. It's all that I am. It's all that I have. And in the cold light, I live. I'll only live for you. It's all that I am. It's all that I have. 